The prep of the month is mags and ammo. And in keeping with that, I want to show you a little project I've been working on. I went online to YouTube and I started looking for Minuteman rigs, Minuteman loadout, middle of the night loadout, bump in the night loadout, um, the kind of gear that you would have ready for something happening in the middle of the night or just suddenly at your home and you have to grab your weapon of choice and go out and of course you're going to pick the worst case scenario which is the middle of the night and you're coming from a from a dead sleep and i looked at lots of videos and really really didn't see what i wanted most of most of the loadouts were very involved i mean they they were you know, Miniman loadout, and I don't argue with that, except for it's like they weren't going to be coming back for a day or so. I wanted something where I could run out, hopefully with something on, but if I ran out naked, I had this, this piece of gear on me and my weapon. And I thought about the little chest rigs that I like so much. I use this one for carpentry, and uh, they really lend themselves. You can attach anything in the world to them, but I just, I can't see me manipulating all that chest rig in the dark in the middle of the night jumping out of bed it's just not intuitive but a belt is if i if i put nothing on i can throw a belt on so i came up with this and 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 i know it looks like a, a mare's nest of uh camouflage patterns and colors but it's because it is it's just stuff i have i didn't go buy anything and i was able to build this and I found myself having to take things away because I kept trying to add stuff and turn it into this Batman utility belt. And, you know, once you throw a 45 on there, it's going to be heavy enough. I don't want it to be more than it has to be. If something, make up your own scenario, causes me to get up and grab my shotgun or my AR and my 45 and go out, or maybe just go down the hall, this is what I want to have on me. So, I went with a belt. And once you go with a belt, you realize that there's, there's very valuable real estate on this belt that you're going to take up very quickly. And because my shotgun is my primary defensive weapon in the house, you may disagree, but that's, that's my choice, shotgun. Because of that, I, I didn't want to go with the, the wide horizontal shotgun um, shell pouches. Instead... I came up with this idea. I use these taco pouches, which are really made for AR-15 magazines. And I got these cards that you can get. I got mine off Amazon, but I guess you can get them different places. And, and they fit pretty good in there. So I went with these tacos. And I think they're good because let's say I decide that the shotgun is not going to be my weapon that I grab. Um, let's say I do grab the AR. Well, I could easily throw AR mags in there. So I like that. It saves real estate on the belt, and it's, and it's multi-purpose. So I got two taco shells with extra mags. And my, my, uh, my shotgun does have a uh, bandolier-type sling on it that has a few rounds on it. And, of course, it's full in the uh, tubular magazine. Then I had my 45 uh, magazines in uh, this little pouch it has the grabby things that hold in there really tight little grabby plastic things over on the right side I threw this old Beretta mag pouch on there because once again it does double duty I can throw more 45 mags in there if I want or I can throw a Leatherman and maybe even a, a knife in there so that that's a good thing there and I may go ahead and and dedicate a knife to that pouch. Very easily could. These are really very universal, very utilitarian pouches. They'll do just about anything. Then I've got an old Beretta uh, um, holster on here with just a thumb release. 
and that's for my 45. Now, notice, I didn't bring my weapons out here. This is not about the weapons. It's about the system that you're going to carry your, your ammo and your mags in. The back on the uh, the very back of the um, uh, belt, I just threw this. I don't even know what kind of pouch this is. Use utilitarian pouch, and I threw a Surefire uh, flashlight in there, obviously. And you know, and and I really just really fretted over this. What else to throw in there? And maybe I'm throwing too much. Uh, I threw an Israeli bandage and an old school compression bandage. And I may, I may take the Israeli out because once again, this is something that I want to get up and go meet the threat with. It's not designed for a, you know, ongoing firefight. You don't see any common here. This is to go and meet the threat. And, and because I wanted to keep it simple and keep it as light and, and, uh, uncumbersome as possible. So anyway, that's what I came up with. And I'm really curious to see what you think about this idea. Not so much what I did. Um, I'm sure you'll disagree with what I did. Everybody's different. But I'd like to see what other people think about this. Um, is the belt the way to go? Is something else the way to, else the way to go? What, what would you want to take into the hall and possibly onto the back porch with you in the middle of the night? So anyway, that's my experiment. That's what I'm going to have next to the bed, at least for a while. See how I like it. Might do some dry runs. Thanks for watching.